Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared. My lovely wife, Kara, is at work. And this is the Real Steel Luna Boost, the frame lock. And we are doing an unboxing. So let's get into it. This knife is so slicey. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Alright, let's see what's in here. Ooh, hoo -hoo, we got something pretty exciting in here, guys. Something exciting. So, let's just say I've been wanting to check one of these out for a long, long time. A long time. Ooh, what's in there? Oh, man. That is sweet. Come on, focus. Wow. Is that car? Yeah, that's carbon fiber, I think. I can't tell if that's carbon fiber or micarta. It looks like some type of carbon fiber because of the way the crosshairs. It looks like a cross cut uh, carbon fiber. But micarta has fibers in it too. All right, first flip. Ooh. Oh, yeah. That's sweet. Man, that is sweet. Can you front flip this? Yes, you can. <laughs> yes, you can. Very easily, too. It doesn't look like you can, but dang it. Yes, you can. So this is the Vero Axon. And it's an M390. Black carbon fiber. The action is amazing. This little this hole works very, very good. The grind is nice and thin. It looks like it's hand done because you see the, you know, it's going side to side like this. Great geometry. Very, very nice. Sheep's foot blade shape. Ergos. Very nice. I do feel this little clip part, but it's still extremely nice. And I can kind of manipulate my hand back here or up closer, you know, to avoid this little spot. Access to the liner, ah, uh, not that great, but it's not horrifying, but it's not good either. You do have to, you know, you see, you can't really see it from either side. So you do have to kind of smash, smash and push. But man, that action, let's try the thumb action. I didn't even tried that yet. Man, that is so good. Left hand, <laughs> I can tell I can do it left hand. So is it the one problem with left hand? Non-reversible clip is that when I go like this, my finger lands right on top of that. Let's see if I can just avoid it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I can totally avoid it. Man, that is smooth, even the slow roll. This thing's pretty awesome. I like it. And I like this these ergos, man, because you get them nice and tight for push cuts. You can get up back here. You know, like, it's just so, it's a very neutral grip, even though it does have the space right here. You know, my two fingers really wrap around right there. It's very, very comfortable in the hand. And, man, I love cross-cut carbon fiber. Cross-cut carbon fiber is so gorgeous. I wish it would come up better on camera. I'll get some um, some extra clips and put them in right now so you can see what I see because it's just beautiful. All the lines from the fibers running back and forth are just gorgeous. It looks so good. The And then you, um, on the back spacer, it's kind of a... Um, you know, it's it's normally what you would see on the front of carbon fiber, but you can see it's like ground, like it's it's weird. Like uh, the top portion, you see it's like got checkering, but then it's kind of uh, rocky back here. Titanium backspacer all the way through and through. Nice big hardware. This looks like some good hardware. Not only is it T8s, but they look nice and deep. The clip looks like it's going to work really good. Yeah, this thing is cool. And this grind, man, this grind looks really nice. Let's check out that choil. 
Toil's done appropriate, very appropriate. So the plunge is right there. So you have this much to sharpen, which is a decent, you know, it's a decent amount. It's not like out of this world, you know, but they at least gave you something appropriately. I do always like to have a little bit more, but nice and thinly ground. Yeah, this is pretty awesome. I'm liking this thing a lot. And then I like... They, they got it numbered right there, and then you got the Vero back there. Did I see the blade steel? I'm guessing it's M390, but... Very, very smooth. So for the thumb flick, it's not as easy as the reverse flick, but it's still easy. You know what I mean? Like it's not as easy, but still easy. The slow roll is very easy. The detent is nice and light, but clicky, but very, very appropriate for the reverse flick. I wouldn't want it any stronger or any lighter. It's very, very appropriate. And then you see how false shutty it is. I mean, it's very, very drop shutty. If you even give it any encouragement at all, it just drops. If I just let it sit. It'll stay. But like I said, any encouragement, it just drops. <laughs> it's so like if you go like this and then turn, my, if I turn my wrist upward like this, it'll just fall. Very, very nice. Let's look at the front. Nice milling. Very, very nice. Nice lockup. Let's check that. Very nice. Very, very nice. I'm loving it. I'm loving this thing. And I like that you can very easily front flip. It doesn't look like it, though. It kind of looks like this is going to get in the way. But very easy. Very, very easy. I like that it's nice and fidgety. Oh, there is one thing we haven't checked yet. Stop pin size. Let's check that stop pin. Okay, so it's um it is a collared stop pin, meaning there's a groove on this side that wraps around the stop pin. You see the stop pin right there, and the verdict is very appropriate sized stop pin. Nice. I love love to see that. It's very open through the top. You can see the bearings. And you can see the the detent track right there. So, I'm not trying to do the full review, but you know the full review is mostly about how it actually works in the real world, not this part. Okay, yep, the detent ramp is very, very nice. I can tell if I unlock it, I can swing right past it, which is nice. But you only, you'll never really hit that thing because it just flows right past it. This thing's addicting. <laughs> it is addicting. So for the review, we are going to, well, we're not going to test it too much. We're going to just, you know, very lightly. We'll see how it cuts. We'll see how the ergos actually feel in practice. Um, see how the clip works. You know, I'm worried about the clip in the hand in use, but we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Um, and yeah, I, I don't think we're sharpening this. It has a very, very nice edge, first of all. That is a factory edge. It feels good. It feels very sticky. So it feels like a good edge. Um, I have to really look at it to see if it actually is a good edge. But it feels like a good edge. But there's two different there's differences there. A lot of people don't realize that. Just because it feels sharp doesn't mean it's a good edge. And what I mean by that is that there's a difference between a knife being sharp and it feeling very sharp and being sticky to the touch and, you know, it feeling very, very sharp versus uh, an appropriate edge that's going to, one, get good edge retention because the, the way an edge is done has everything to do with the edge retention it's going to have when you start cutting versus... um. If the angles are lined up right, if the angles were changed at all, um, if there's going to be fatigued steel, if just so many different things versus how sharp it is versus how appropriate it is. So 
Very, very awesome. Man, that thing comes down quick. But you can you can get it out of the way. Let me see if I just let... Oh, yeah, you can use this part right here to hit your finger if you really want to. And it doesn't even let the edge hit it. Or if you hold down a little bit farther, you let the edge hit. Very, very nice. I'm loving it. I'm mostly letting making letting the meat of my finger do the flicking, but I can let my nail do it too. So very, very nice. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Alex, I appreciate you letting me check this thing out. I didn't ask if I could do any shout outs or anything like that. Um, or if I, you know, any channels or anything like that. So, um, yeah, I don't want to say too much, but I appreciate you letting me check this out. And I We'll be doing the review here very, very soon. Peace.